Leukemia is keeping a former independent wrestler from stepping into the ring. Even with his health battles, his love for wrestling never died. Now pro wrestlers from around the country will fight in an effort to save his life. We weren't really over my diagnosis. In fact, I had just finished my first set of chemotherapy when he got his diagnosis. Corey Hale and his mother, Rebecca, share more than a last name. The doctor just came in and said that I was sick, and then I asked him, you know, okay, well, what do we do if I can go home? And then he said, you don't seem to understand. Both got the same devastating news, cancer. Doctors diagnosed Rebecca with incurable lymphoma. You just fight. You could just get up every day and say, I've got another day. I've got to make it better. Two years later, doctors found Corey had leukemia. So it was just a complete shock. Rebecca is preparing for another round of chemo. The most she can do is treat her symptoms. I have so many other things to worry about that I don't even think about myself. As for Corey, every attempt to kill the cancer has failed. Doctors say he has one last chance for life, a bone marrow transplant. But at the last appointment, it was discussed that if we can't get the bone marrow transplant and we can't get some of the other things that I need, um, that I guess palliative care was the best option. Meaning nurses will manage symptoms, but... They don't expect you to beat the cancer. The Hale family is still looking for sponsors for the wrestling event on October 17th at the Ralston Arena. The funds raised will help pay for more than $180,000 in medical bills and a bone marrow transplant in a last-ditch effort to save Corey's life. Reporting live, Rebecca at KMTV, Action 3 News.